My neighbor demands I marry his son. This is a weird one, and I don't read it normally, so sorry. My GF told me to post here. <laughs> okay, so I is Xenia F35, inherited my pops, my grandfather, house. Well, technically, me and mom did. Mom is a college professor and remarried to a technical writer slash engineer who makes a ridiculous amount of money and a big ol' mansion of a house, to me, in the well-off part of town. So she said Pop's house is mine. I was grateful and am still. This was about a year ago. I need to sort of set the stage here. Pop was a popular man. He helped everyone. The kids all called him uncle or pops, and his peers called him the Sultan of Second Street, never knew why they went with Sultan, other than illiteration, since he was black. <laughs> he donated and loaned and gave money to whomever needed it. He was a Vietnam War vet, and despite the stigma of it at the time and that of being a black man, he made something of himself as boxer and boxing instructor. He opened his own place and eventually opened more dots. When mom was small, he bought that house, and when mom got pregnant with me and my father flaked out, pops became that father figure. My childhood bedroom is in this house, it's now my study, and so everyone here knows us. Pop passed, and I got the house. All caught up? Okay, so there is a neighbor to my immediate right, who we call Sugar Mama or Sugar. Everyone knew that she had it bad for pops, but see after he left mama, my grandmother, or more likely. She left him, he chose the bachelor slash playa life. Yeah, he got around. It's still debatable if the woman who owns the house is on the third, if her son is my uncle. Anyway, Suga has a son Miles M50 something, who also has a son James. James is my age, and we get on well. We used to be joined at the hip in grade school, and even though we glowed into different cliques in middle and high school, we were friendly. Suga and some of the other older folks would joke about us. Soulmates. We even share a birthday with a strange coincidence, I will admit, but then they keep adding at the same hospital. Well, yeah, because back then, there was only one good one nearby. <laughs> now, to be clear, I am bisexual with a strong preference if my dating history has any sway for non-binary people or women. No shame in my game. I can talk about the absolute bullshit of homophobia in the black community, but you're not here for that. So I meet my now GF, Dinah, who is also my age and she is absolutely a dream. She's smart and hot and sweet and thoughtful and kind and a million other things. I have to stop there, or this post will be all about how out of my league she is. I started having her around the house, and Mr. Miles was around and offered his and James help in getting stuff from the truck into the house. At one point, James pulled me aside as he knew she was my GF and said I shouldn't mention it to his dad, but it was too late. Mile had asked her if the two of us were college buddies, and she replied that we're dating. Mr. Miles pulls me aside after and asks if it's true, and I said yes. Enter the homophobia and what would Pop think? <laughs> I told him, Pop knew I was bi for years. I came out to him in high school, and he was A-OK -okay with it. That shut him up for a bit, and we got me moved in dot. Well, now about a week ago, Mr. Miles came by. I WFM, but the fiscal year is coming about, and it's a busy time, so I made Mr. Miles had some tea and sat with him, but made him aware I was calling this my lunch hour and couldn't entertain long as I was still working. He said, well I will cut to the chase then, and said so matter of factly, you need to leave that woman. I laughed as my GF and I have been together now for over a year and are happy, so. No, why the hell would he even come here with this? He said Suga is sick, which I knew. She sadly got uterine and breast cancer in March, and she needs to see her boys married. He said he prefers I marry James, but IT would be okay with him if I marry his older brothers Daniel, 36, or Paul, 37. I told him. Yeah. No. I won't be marrying any of his sons. I said I already have a ring for Dinah and am planning to propose to and marry her. I said I know he doesn't agree with gay marriage, and he frankly doesn't have to. It's my life, and while I love and respect him like a real uncle, he will not tell me who to love or marry. He yelled at me and said some awful things, 
and I wanted to say I was a badass and stared him down like Gail King did to R. Kelly in the meme but I cried. A lot. I just asked him to please leave. He did but ripped my pride flag from my pole at the door, calling me slur dot. I got a new one the next day, and it went missing, so my GF bought me a door cam and a new flag. Sure enough, he came that night and ripped that one down, too. I texted him the video and said I would not press charges if he stopped all this. He said to go ahead, call the police on another black man, and if he's killed, it's on me and my ass sins. It's night here and I was cuddled up to my boo after a movie date night and we're playing Mass Effect, video game, aside but can you believe this woman has never heard of this game. And there is knock at my door. It's Paul. He asks to speak with me outside, so I tell Dinah to keep playing, and I will be back. I don't see Paul often, so I thought something happened, maybe Suga got worse or something happened to his dad. Paul explained that he was here to ask me out. He had flowers and a stuffed unicorn, I like unicorns, don't read into it. <laughs> and I, of course, told him. Um, I am in a relationship. He said he knew I had a GF, but that wasn't a real relationship as a relationship is between a man and a woman and he knows I date men as I've dated a male mutual friend in my 20s. I just said my relationship is both real and none of his business and to leave. He then said he guessed I liked feminine men since my GF is trans, which okay, but she's not, but even if she was, have you seen this hottie? So I just laughed it off and said he was jealous he couldn't pull a hottie like mine and said I have cameras with audio so if he can please frick all the way off and not force me and my GF to call the cops, it would be appreciated. I told Dinah, who howled in laughter and paused the game to watch the door cam footage, laughed more, and then told me to post here. Update 1. So a few days ago, I shared about Mr. Miles losing his ever-loving mind about me having a GF and basically put his son up to come over, demean my relationship, and ask me out cause that's such a great plan. For safety, given Mr. Miles losing all the sense the good lord gave him, GF and I stayed up at my folks and just got back yesterday evening. My dad double checked all the new lights and cameras and then walked over to have a friendly chat with Mr. Miles. Not sure what he said but it had to be good because Mr. Miles didn't even sit on his porch to smoke his nightly cigar. And if you knew that man the way I do you know that's not in character. I asked daddy what he said to the poor man and he laughed and said oh, baby, definitely nothing that would remind him of our good and mighty God or offering to send him to him. Sorry I digress. So I expected everything to be okay, because I'm stupid, and thus went back to life per usual. I ran my GF's bath, jumped her bones, and woke up to make her breakfast thinking my life is some kind of wonderful. Only to hear a knock at the door. Today is Monday. Everyone who works is off to work and everyone who doesn't knows I work from home on weekdays. Something didn't feel right so I woke my love up and told her to get dressed just in case something was about to happen. I'm no warrior but I did have my bat and opened the door and made eye contact with a cop. We stare at each other. He looks down at my bat, then back to my face, then turns showing the cop behind him and looks at her. And I am here thinking well shit this is what I get for assuming this all would blow over. I will admit, I am not everyone's cup of tea so I use humor to compensate for being well a weirdo. <laughs> Don't know how else to put it. So I grin at the cops and ignore my heart racing and place the bat down and just say, sorry, I thought you were someone else. Coffee. They weren't amused and apparently didn't want coffee either. Who was I expecting and why a bat? I just said I wasn't sure, but were two women alone in a house with someone at the door at the butt crack of dawn so dot. They asked for me by name and I confirmed I was who I was, even showed my ID. They asked me for my GF as they got a call. GF comes out and shows her ID. They ask to speak to us separately and I was getting upset. What's this about, sir? The cop looked at me really annoyed, then looked at my GF and asked if she felt safe with me, to which she said she did. He said he needs to investigate a call. I ask what call. He says he's the one asking questions and all I could think was great he's that type of cop. He tried to step inside but we were speaking through a screen door which I locked last night and it was then he actually asked if he could come in. I said no, sir. 
My GF said she will step out with him to answer any questions and she does and the female cop takes her a distance away and talk. The male cop opens the now unlocked door and peers in my house asking if he can have a look around. I ask again what all this is about. He asks me questions. All centering around why anyone might think I am holding my GF here against her will. I was like what do you mean against her will? He says her BF called and said I took her forcefully and kept her here overnight. To which I reply, what freaking BF? She's a lesbian and gay as the day is long. At this point GF and female cop come back and GF looks mad. She points at Suga's house and asks if that's where the call came from and outline everything that's basically in my last post. GF then goes, show them the videos, so I hand over my phone with the ring app pulled up with the footage of Mr. Miles yanking our pride flag down and using slurs. The cops were looking at one another and then back at Suga slash Mr. Miles house. Mystery solved, I'm thinking dot. I'm not good in tense situations so I just crack, sure you don't want a coffee? And GF whacked my arm dot. We did the whole song and dance, sending files, getting their cards, filing a complaint for the damage of my property on Mr. Miles' part, and then my GF said she wants to press harassment charges too. The male cop snorted, based on what? And the female cop took over. She said without solid and consistent proof, they can't press charges of that nature. We ask about hate crimes and they said taking down a pride flag isn't a hate crime, it's destruction of property. Suddenly I can hear the guy cop saying, sir, stay inside, and who else could it have been but dear old Mr. Miles, look at this old rooster up this early. Frick. The old sour raisin is yelling for them to ask about me throwing around my GF last night. Cops aren't even listening to him, just telling him to go inside and he keeps repeating that I was brutalizing her last night, which the creepy bits aside about him knowing anything about last night, I want to take as one hell of a compliment. The cops yell for him to go inside or he will be in cuffs. He does and the female cop turns to me and I just blurted, if throwing around is what we're calling sex now. And my GF gave me a look like shut the frick up so I did. It did get a laugh from the lady cop though. Duh. They told us to stay inside and we did but you better believe we minded everything but our business at that point. We watched through my study window as they went and spoke to Mr. Miles. There was a back and forth and I heard the cop say, turn around, and Mr. Miles was saying like, why are you hassling me, man? I didn't do nothing. So the cop got louder and said either turn around and I take you in or you go back in the house, sir. Mr. Miles was saying this ain't right but he went inside. The cops stayed on the porch for a few minutes more. Then they departed. Happy Monday. Dot.